if you want to build a tiny tank like this yourself, we can go over all the components I've used. Of course, you will need three servos because here we can see these are continuous servos, 360 degrees. You can either buy these directly or do it like me and um, take some standard servos and modify them to run continuously. This is a tiny one cell LiPo. With one of these batteries, it can drive for almost 15 to 20 minutes because this is quite a low voltage. I also used a boost converter so the servos and the camera can uh, run a bit better. On the inside we have an 8-channel receiver. You only need three but this one was pretty inexpensive and well I have some um, good experiences with these. The two halves, as you can see, are held together by eight of these rod magnets and they are pretty strong. These magnets are four millimeters wide, but you could also use some printed rods, but I found the use of magnets makes it a bit easier to replace batteries and get inside. The threads are standard Lego threads, which are used in most of these tiny tank projects. Our wheels are mounted directly onto the servo with the supplied screws. Also, the servo is uh, screwed into the base with one of, one of these screws, which makes it a bit more solid. The free running wheels have some ball bearings inside. You don't have to use these, but it makes it run a bit smoother. The bearings are eight millimeters by four millimeters with a three millimeter screw in the middle. You could also just use the screw and screw the wheel in the base with some nuts, but I found these ball bearings make a lot of sense. On the top we have an additional servo which can move the shovel arm and the FPV camera. This camera is an Ishin EF01 which has a screw distance of 24 millimeters. So most FPV cameras in this form factor should work or you have to design a different arm. And this is actually all you need to build one of these. So this is the unassembled model. You can see the magnet holes and the hollow top half with a hole where you can put cables to the top servo and the FPV camera. And the lower half where the two continuous servos are mounted. And this is how the shovel arm would be mounted on the top servo and sits in front of the whole tank.